recently talked on my Instagram stories about the gift giving and receiving love language, and I got so many responses by people who are like, that's my love language and I feel so misunderstood. So I wanted to dig a little deeper into this concept because I think it's really important. So in this video, I'll be exploring what it means to experience love by giving and receiving gifts. The biggest misconception about this love language is that because it's materialistic, it's less valuable than other love languages. If you don't know who I am, hello, I'm Abby and I'm here to help you discover you. For more videos like this, subscribe to this channel. By the way, if you don't know what the five love languages are, I will link my introduction video right here. So let's take a look at what this language is. It means that you express and feel love through gifts. It's the only love language besides physical touch that is a tangible affirmation of affection. So if you're a tactile person, it would make sense that you experience love this way. I think where the misconception about this love language lies is money. It costs money to buy gifts and money comes with a lot of baggage for people. So I want to make sure that I clarify that the gift giving love language is not about buying expensive presents. As Gary Chapman puts it, the most important thing is not the gift, but the emotional love communicated by the gift. So if you look at it through this lens, it doesn't really matter how much the gift costs. It could be a tiny little trinket you picked up on a trip or a brand new guitar. All that matters is that the gift says, hey, I was thinking about you and I love you. The gift then has a meaning behind it. It's a reminder of love. This is why the gift giving love language is not greedy or selfish. I also wanted to give some ideas about how to love on your partner if their love language is receiving gifts. You could buy them concert tickets for their favorite band, once concerts are a thing again. You could make them a Spotify playlist. You could order them their favorite childhood candy that's like super hard to find. After a trip, bring home a souvenir that made you think of them. If you're like on a beach, pick up a little shell and bring it home to them and just say, I was walking on the beach and this made me think of you. Come on. Who wouldn't want to receive a shell like that? Bring them their favorite flowers on a random day. But the best tip I can recommend is to pay attention. Keep a note on your phone with all the things that they casually mention that they want or need. That way you can refer back to it once it's a holiday or an anniversary and it puts a little extra thoughtfulness into your gift giving process. Hey, if this is your love language, please go to the comments because we all need help because Christmas is coming up and anniversaries are probably coming up and we wanna know how to love you better. So please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys. Have a lovely day. Okay. Wow, that took a tangent. Your tips in the description. I'm sorry, it's been a long day.